Emily and Erica, those names were officially released, but many here in the school community and in Falmouth were already aware. The high school here has served as a home base for everyone to come together. Students finding comfort in each other at Falmouth High School, where class is not in session, but doors are open for students to grieve with counselors. I think it's critical. I think it's critical in um, helping kids start to heal. A need to heal after a horrible car crash last night involving two high school star athletes. Falmouth police say the vehicle they were in veered off Thomas Landers Road and into a tree. Both were trapped. The 17-year-old driver died. The passenger was critically injured. The two boys had just left team hockey practice at an arena down the road. <laughs> this morning, friends and loved ones were overcome with emotion while visiting the site of the crash. Flowers and mementos are being left behind. The loss is felt throughout this community, especially before Christmas. All of us have children. Uh, I can only imagine what the families themselves are going through. Uh, it has affected, like I say, the whole Falmouth community. This is a very tight-knit community, a very supportive community. And when we um, experience something like this, everyone's impacted. So the superintendent and a lot of other school leaders having a tough day today trying to deal with this. A vigil involving students is planned for 2 o'clock uh, this afternoon. As for the crash, at this point, investigators are still trying to figure out exactly why the car went off the road. Live in Falmouth, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.